This project is quickly falling apart. <laughs> um, so there's this project that I've been wanting to do for a long while. We bought one part of it, I don't even know how long ago. But I went ahead and bought other stuff for it. And I just opened one of them and it's completely not what I thought it would be. So I don't even know if this will work. So we're gonna try anyway. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. We have this frame, this is what we bought like forever ago. And I bought it with the intention of framing David's medals because he is a pretty big deal, I think. <laughs> um, he was a really, really good thrower for track and field. Um, he threw javelin and hammer, and I think some discus, but javelin and hammer were his two biggest events. And he's set records in those events, and yeah. So he has like all these medals that were just sitting in a box forever. And I was like, you know what? We should frame these. These should be something you're proud of. Um, in the office, since it was originally more of David's space, because it has like all of his music and like the desk that's in there is really his desk um, <laughs> that I just took over. Um, but up on the wall above the desk, we have some of his other sports stuff. So this was supposed to go up with that and it never happened. And I was trying to think of different ways that I could mount the medals. And I mean, I'm not like an expert at this and I wanted something that would be removable so that if it didn't turn out well <laughs> or we figure out something better we could easily do that so I was thinking to like pin it on cork board which I thought I ordered a like cork board um but it's like a foam poster board with a thin layer of cork on it which on something like on one product I saw I saw reviews saying that and they're like don't buy this so I assumed that the other one that I picked wasn't like that one but I guess this is a thing also it had two giant stickers on the front I took one off but this one is like not coming off easily why would you put these stickers on the front why like you have this whole back um, I will have to cut this down to size but I think it's too thick for the frame but also this frame has it's like a shadow box frame so may, hopefully maybe I can finagle something that if it doesn't fit the way it's intended I could like make something work you know so we'll see how this goes <laughs> I I'm trying to stay optimistic, but this isn't looking promising. So here goes nothing. It's still not the cleanest, but um, what I'm actually trying to do is cut this down so it fits into this part of the frame. This part of the frame is what holds it, um, holds the like front panel out from the rest of the stuff in the frame. Um, because I think I'm still gonna do it, well, I have to still do it that way with this foam board. But I'm hoping that this will fit snug enough that you won't see, like, 
how not pretty that is. <laughs> so I just have to make, well, at this point a couple more cuts, but one line and then we'll see if this will actually work. If not, I'll find another purpose for this. Um, I did end up getting that sticker off, but it was a pain. So let's keep going. So it's not the cleanest. <laughs> um, there's definitely like gaps in some spots, but I also feel like like this isn't very sturdy, so it kind of like wobbles a little bit. So hopefully once it's in the frame, the gaps won't be as noticeable. Fingers crossed. So now I guess we'll lay out the metals. And I just got like map pins to tack them on. So yeah. So I have the general layout of how I want the metals to be. Like all of these are from one event, I guess, or what, like, I don't know what to call it. I don't know sports. I don't know track and field. Um, but this is from one, like, like these are the same. You know what I mean? And then these three are the same up here. These two are the oddballs, but I thought I'd throw them in. These ones, I know this one, because it says on it, it's from Kenya, from either Kenya or Ghana, but I don't know. So yeah, I just have to play around with the uh, ribbons a little, because I just kind of threw them on. Um, yeah, I think they might trail off the top and hopefully that might help fill in some gaps maybe I don't know but I think I'm liking where this is going um I just dropped my camera and my life flashed before my eyes anyway I think this is what I'm going for um all the metals are kind of closer together now and like the top half is mostly just ribbon and it kind of looks messy now but I think um, when I actually pin it down it'll look a lot neater and I switched the gold to the middle here so it's balanced out with the golds on either side of here can you tell I'm a proud wife <laughs> um, so yeah I guess I'll start pinning stuff down which means I have to pretty much take everything off. Yay! Okay, so this first layer is all tacked down. And yeah, I'm liking it so far. Had a few minor hiccups, but I think this will actually be okay. It's not perfect, but it's handmade. <laughs> All right, update. <laughs> I got the second layer done. Now I just have to add the last three and then figure out how to actually put this all together. <laughs> but I'm liking like the different stripes this is making. Just like the designer in me is like, ooh, so graphic. Alright, so since my expectations were plummeted at the very beginning of this, I think it turned out way better than I thought it would. Um, I need to go through and like 
polish them a little. Not that they're like the best quality and everything, but there's definitely fingerprints on these ones for sure. So I'll wipe those down and then figure out how to attach these. I think I'm just gonna do like painter's tape. You know, very structural and completely professional. She's done! Oh my goodness! It looks so good! Um, this was a pain to put together completely, but here it is standing up and you can't really tell that the edges are that wonky from certain angles, but yeah! As soon as I like did the final reveal of it, I was like, wait, is this centered? But also like that was such a pain to do that. Um, we're going to just go with it. Yay. So that's all I really had planned for today. Um, I didn't film a lot of it because I really had no idea what I was doing. I didn't want to have to edit through a bunch of footage of me just bumbling around. Um, but I think, I think it turned out good. It's not perfect by any means, but done is better than perfect. I've been putting this off for so long. Like we got that frame from Ikea and the last time we went to Ikea was almost two years ago. So, whoopsie, but yes, that one is checked off the list of unfinished projects. But this is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>